Okay, if you're not familiar with the analysis tool pack in Excel, that's a crying shame because it is wildly useful. Uh, I'm not making this up. So in all of my previous jobs in analytics, I've used Excel quite a bit, and in particular the analysis tool pack because it's just so easy to do quick and dirty analyses on your data. So I just wanted to demo how you can use this awesome tool. Okay, so what you can see here is I'm in Excel and I've got the iris data set loaded up as a table. And you can see here I've even given it the name, iris underscore data, and I got me some data. And this is just CSV data that I exported from R and then just loaded up into Excel for this particular short demo. Okay, so how do we turn on the analysis tool pack? So first thing we do is you go up to file over here and you click on that and you go down to options here and you want to click on add-ins and you want to go down here where it says manage the Excel add-ins. Now the analysis tool pack comes out of the box with Excel for both Microsoft Excel and Mac Excel so you can use it on either platform. So you just go ahead and click go and there's a whole bunch of cool add-ons available one of which is the solver. The solver is truly mighty for example, you can use it to implement logistic regression yourself in Excel, and it's not actually all that difficult. Maybe I'll do that as a future tutorial, I'm not quite sure. But we're gonna be using the analysis tool pack today. So I just check that bad boy, click OK, and we're off and running. So in this short video, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you three things. First of all, I'm gonna show you my Darth Vader coffee mug because I'm having my morning coffee right now. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to show you how to do summary statistics and a correlation matrix using the analysis tool pack add-in. Okay, so we've got our data, awesome sauce. And how we access the analysis tool pack is we go up to the ribbon and we click on data here. And that brings up the nice ribbon. And we're way over here on the right side under analysis and we got data analysis. Now it's called the analysis tool pack, but it shows up as data analysis in the ribbon. Why is that? I don't know. Okay. So we'll just click on this bad boy, fire it up, and look at all of this data analysis goodness that you get. You get some ANOVA, you get correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, exponential smoothing, one of my favorites, regression. That'll be the subject of another video coming up. But today we're going to do summary statistics, <clears throat> excuse me, descriptive statistics, and correlation. So we're going to do descriptive statistics first. So we just highlight that in the dialog click OK, and we get a nice GUI interface for us to use, handy dandy. So we gotta say, what's our input range? Well, we're going to do the pedal width column over here. And I'm just picking that arbitrarily. And there's how we do it. We just click the button, click D. We want the whole column of data here. Go back in. We do have labels in the first row, so we check that. We want summary stats, because those are awesome. And we wanna stick it out we want to put the output in this worksheet. So we're going to check this option here, click the button, and we'll just stick this here in G3, or G2, excuse me. We'll stick in G2, click this again, and we're back in the dialog, and we're off and running. We just click OK. Boom. Check this out. So you get a lot, a lot of nice summary statistics of this column of numeric data. You get the mean, which is just the average. So if you're used to using the average function in Excel, same thing. Standard error, median, this is the 50th percent value. Standard deviation, this is a measure of global dispersion for the column of data. Kurtosis, skewness, range, minimum, max, sum, and the count. So you can just get a lot of information like lickety split about what's going on in this pedal width column. First of all, you know, you got 150 rows. The mean is 1.1, we'll call it 1.2. And the median is 1.3, so they're pretty close. So that might imply somewhat of a symmetric distribution. And you can see the min and the max. So there's a lot of really, really good stuff in this particular functionality of the analysis tool pack. Wham, bam, you got yourself some summary statistics. Lickety split. Love it. I use it all the time. Now, another thing that I use quite a bit when I'm working with numeric data is a correlation analysis. And if you're not familiar with correlation, you can certainly Google it. But essentially what it says is, if you imagine taking two numeric columns in a table, right, column A and column B, 
And what you would do is you would create a dot chart or a scatter plot where you have, let's say, A on the x-axis and B on the y-axis, and you plotted the dots. What you're trying to do is find out how close are they, how, the, how close are those dots to a 45 degree line going from the bottom left to the top right. That's essentially what you, how you can think of correlation. It's like this idea of how close to that line are they? How, how much of a linear relationship do they exhibit? Or alternatively, do they exhibit a linear relationship like this? Okay, this is not a video about correlation. So let's just go ahead and get a correlation matrix. So once again, we're up to the data analysis tool pack. And this time we're gonna pick correlation. I'm gonna click okay. In the input range, we're gonna do all the numeric columns because we wanna see all the various combinations of data in this table in terms of their correlation. Now this only works with numeric data, by the way. It doesn't work with string data or categoricals. Okay, go back here. Yep, got labels in my first row and I wanna put the output in my current worksheet. Click this button and let's go ahead and put this bad boy in J2. Okay, cool. And we just click the button and boom. We've got a correlation matrix here. This is great. Now, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with correlation, think of it this way. The closer the dots on that scatter plot are to the 45 degree line going bottom left to top right, that's one. If it's like this, from top left to bottom right, that would be negative one. Okay, and what you can see here in the correlation matrix is not surprisingly, sepal width is perfectly correlated with itself. Well, no kidding, right? There are the exact same values on both axes, right? Because you got sepal width here, uh, excuse me, sepal length here, sepal length here. So of course the dots are gonna be like, doo -doo 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 -doo, right on that straight line, okay? And you can see here that petal length, oh, super, high, super highly correlated, 0.87 with sepal length and petal width, same thing. And then you got these negative correlations going on. Oh, look at this bad boy, pedal width and pedal length, 0.96. That's pretty interesting stuff. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you explore your data with the data analysis tool pack. It's super easy and wildly, wildly useful. So until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.